Hi, crafty friends. You guys, when I was at Dollar Tree, I saw this cute little hat and I thought, we're totally gonna make this over and just give it a completely different vibe. So I finally got all of this stuff off of there. Wow, that was quite a process. But I was like, wait a minute, we could use this for something else. So I'm going to tuck this away as I do with a lot of things and be like, oh, we're gonna use that later. Okay, do y'all do that? Cause sometimes later becomes like a year later. <laughs> But I think that's just a crafting thing. So anyways, now that we've got the little plastic part, I'm taking some jute and I'm just going to wrap this around there. And as you can see, the jute that I'm using is um, thin. Uh, if it was thicker, it probably wouldn't have taken me as long because I would have got a lot more real estate covered, not as many times going around, but that's okay. I think this is gonna really turn out cool. So once I got that top part done, then I was like, hmm, how am I gonna do the bottom? Because I want it to like have still that flat look for the brim of the hat. So as I was, um, you know, going around and around and around, I was like, what should I do? Because y'all, I have accidentally, <laughs> tell me if you have in the comments, um, hot glued your project to your table. Mm -hmm. So then I thought, oh, let's just use a little piece of cardboard, just a couple little tacking pieces to hold it in place. Cause I'm going to hot glue on that bottom base and I didn't want to hot glue it to the table. So I was like, okay, we can pull off that cardboard. Um, but I just wanted to make sure all the hot glue stayed where it was supposed to and not adhere it to my table. So I just start going along and make kind of that base just along the bottom. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove that cardboard um, so that then, um, because you can see, I'm just gonna cover that all just one big circle. So then I'm gonna go up where like the hat part hits where the brim is. There's a little bit of a gap there and I left that on purpose because I wanna um, send the jute up through and around. So like it's almost latching itself on um, there and then there'll still be that gap at the bottom so then i was like all right i do have a couple pieces of spare here's that part where i'm talking about where i'm just kind of like pulling it through because i want it to hold but i need to cover that area like i was talking about so i grabbed um some Dollar Tree rope that I had taken apart for a project, um, I was like, ooh, I'll take one of those strands and just hot glue that right around there and then you won't see that big gap. But for this part, we definitely needed the gap. So I'm glad that um, I had enough, <laughs> enough sense to not cover that to, to begin with. So this was a little time consuming. Again, if I was using some thicker jute, it would have gone a whole heck of a lot faster, but that's okay. It really, I love how this ends up turning out. So here's the part where I was talking about, I just took a little bit of thicker and a little spare piece I have there, and then we'll just cover that little part. And then of course, you know, we have to bedazzle this a little bit cause I'm all about the fabric and the bedazzling and all the fun, but I put it on a candlestick and look how cute this is. Gosh, I love it. All right, thanks for watching, follow for more.